Hey everybody, we're back out in the shop and we got a couple new toys to play with. I picked up an arc droid, a little uh, portable CNC machine, and I got this Yes Welder Cut 65 DS to go with it. I went with it because it was uh, pretty inexpensive on Amazon and it's a low frequency model. It needs to be low frequency so it doesn't mess up the electronics on the CNC machine. Right off the bat, before we get cutting, I had to modify the torch cable. I had to open it up and locate the two uh, terminal wires for the trigger and add these two wires. These go to the back of the arc droid and these, this is what controls the, uh, the torch turning on and off through the CNC machine. Otherwise you'd have to push the trigger down manually. There's a procedure in the uh, owner's manual on how to do it. This is my first time using this thing, so you'll have to bear with me with some of the settings. Uh, to start, I started with 60 thousandths of an inch above the cutting surface, and 60 inches per minute for cutting speed. That's at 55 amps and 55 psi on my air compressor. For the cut file, I just typed in free DXF files online. This deer head came up on the first page. It looked cool, so I figured we'd try it. Here I ran into my first problem with penetration. I ended up pausing the cut and I up my amps to 65 and my PSI to 100. Something I found cool about the Arc Droid is you can change the size parameters of your DXF files right on the screen. This original file was only 8 inches tall, so I changed it so it would be 21 inches tall and f about 14 inches wide. Here it is all cleaned up. I used a buffing wheel on the grinder to uh, clean up the edges, knock any extra slag off. And just for fun I thought I'd take it through the heat treatment process with a propane torch. Get to change color. And here it is after a clear coat. I think it turned out pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching. 